I am going to give you a quick demonstration on how to participate in the Princess Anne Fitness Center's Zoom Fitness virtual classes that we have going on. You keep this as simple as possible. First, before you do anything, I want you to go to your app store and search for the Zoom app. Okay, it should be one of the first ones that comes up. It's got the little blue icon with the camera and I'm going to download the app. It takes just a few seconds. Once you have downloaded that app, you're now ready to participate in all of the classes. So if you find a class that you want to participate in, let's say go into fitness classes, find your class, and you're going to click to join that class. Okay. Now you're not going to get an email right away. It will come by 8 a.m. tomorrow with the code that will get you into your Zoom class. So right now I'm going to go into my email and I'm going to get the code that will pretend like it is 8 a.m. tomorrow and I've just received my code. So I'm gonna go down here in this purple writing and click on the access code, okay? So it takes me straight to my Zoom app. I'm going to delete all of that and put in my name so that everyone on the other side knows it's me. And I'm gonna click continue. And I'm going to say yes, please access my camera and I'm going to join with the video. I don't have to join with the video. You can go without the video and it'll just go to a dark screen, entirely up to you. But for the purpose of this, I'm going to enter with my camera and I'm also gonna allow access to my microphone. I'm gonna say, no, I don't want it to be notified by Zoom. I'm gonna call using internet audio here and there I am, I'm in my meeting, I'm in my class. Okay, so we've got some options that we can um, tap the screen to see here. It's gonna let you pull up a menu at the bottom. You've got mute your microphone. You can stop or start your video. You can see, you can click participants and see who's in that meeting or class with you. Whatever you wanna do here, whether you wanna be seen or heard or not seen and not heard, you have that um, ability to do so right here by just tapping on your screen and going to that bottom menu. A lot of times people will keep their camera and their photo dark while they are doing the class and then join back in at the end of class. Totally optional. If you want to see the participants, you click on that participant and there we go. We've got two people, the host and then me as the one participant. I can click a chat. I can send a thumbs up any kind of message I want to do right there. Lots of different options. A lot of times you're just going to tap on your screen to find the things that you want to do. We're going to say that the meeting is over and the class has ended. I had a great workout and I'm going to tap on my screen again to exit the meeting. The instructor will stop the, the meeting, but I'm going to leave before she stops. Okay, and I'm going to leave the meeting and, and accept that right there. And I'm out of the meeting just like that. I'm just going to cruise on out of here, exit out of all my apps, and there we have it. Pretty simple. Hope that you all have a good experience on Zoom. We've been doing great classes and really enjoying seeing all the faces at home. Take care.